Welcome to Females and Fine Fettle, from Wiped Out to Wealthy. This is where conscientious women entrepreneurs and women living like a boss come to learn about balancing their personal and professional wellness with ease. If you have the enthusiasm, motivation, and grit to make it happen, then listen up every Monday. To be sure you don't miss an episode, sign up for weekly updates at femalesandfinefettle.com. The following discussion is for educational purposes only and is not intended to diagnose or treat any disease. Please don't apply any of this information without first speaking with your doctor. Now, here are your hosts, Ashley Rose and Dr. Michelle, functional medicine doctor, naturopathic physician, and East Asian medical practitioner. Welcome back, ladies. Ashley here with the best in the West, Dr. Michelle. Hello there. Our podcast is now one month old. Look at that little baby podcast. Isn't she cute? Oh, what a sweet chubby little babes. She has your eyes. (laughs) (laughs) Over the past few weeks, we have been exploring creativity and play, how to invite more room for creativity into your personal life, in ways that increase your health and well-being, how to expand inventiveness and clear brain fog by introducing key components into your life through food, drink, lifestyle enhancement, and supplements. Now that your soul and body are ready to engage in creativity, I think we're ready to play with others. What do you say? Sounds good to me. Make some new friends or find ways to reconnect with the tried and true oldies but goodies. Like you. Oldish, but a goodie. I'll take it. (laughs) So as we emerge from our 20s and familiarize ourselves with our 30s and beyond, interactions with our friends tend to diminish due to various obligations. Kids, work, geography, school, everything. The connections with our friends can lose its prevalence, and unfortunately, maybe along with that, we forget to play at all. A lot of us end up becoming more isolated, closed off, or even narrow-minded because we're just content doing the same things day in and day out. Not even content, but complacent because we're not being mentally or emotionally challenged. Without a community, it's easy to miss out on opportunities or neglect giving ourselves the experience to play in the ways, you know, we schedule our children's play dates because it just takes too much effort. But us grown-ups deserve the same. Creating time in our schedules for adult play challenges and stimulates us in ways we might not get from our partners or our children. And that's not a bad thing. I think Ashley would agree with me when I say that we shouldn't expect to get everything from one single person in our life, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's right. When Ashley and I first met back when I was 19, we basically hung out all the time. And that lasted for years. All the time for years. (laughs) It wasn't uncommon for us to be involved in every activity or experience together, but when I moved to the Pacific Northwest, that totally changed. We tried keeping phone dates and tried to schedule visits, but we just let other stuff get in the way. We would let weeks and then months pass without talking, but then, you know, we'd reconnect and pick up right where we left off, and that's pretty much how it is today. We recently went through a uh, two-year stint without seeing each other, which is pretty unbelievable. (laughs) But then she came to stay with me and my partner for three weeks, and it was like we were roommates again. Super fun, super easy. Yeah, my departure just keeps getting pushed back. You love me. That experience also made me realize how much I really cherish my connection with her and how important it is to have our clam jam or taco talk on a more regular basis. Whether or not your buds are near or far, or maybe you're even in the process of making new ones, there are some fun and awesome ways to incorporate low stress play with others. So for those of you who want to connect with your friends, schedule playdates with those gal pals, but maybe haven't allowed yourself the excuse to give your precious time away, which is totally understandable. Sometimes it's easier to do when you've committed to a project and are mutually productive and working toward a shared goal. So yeah, we've got some low stress play ideas for you. Uh, Most of us use Pinterest and probably have endless folders of DIY projects that we hope to get to one day probably never will, why not post on Facebook or Instagram or send an email to some crafty friends or ladies you like to get to know better, calling all interested to join in large group projects. 
Totally. I love this idea. There's something to be said about doing projects together. You not only learn certain strengths and weaknesses about yourself, but for those of us who like to be in control, (laughs) it helps us practice the art of delegation. Plus, you get to enjoy something you made afterwards. For sure. I've said before that where Michelle and I differ, together we benefit one another as a whole. So find the lady friend that can bring something to the table for you and for whom you can do the same. In the case with us, after 15 years of friendship, we've happily found, finally, that we work really well together in all things business. Together, we get shit done. Uh, Together, we let our obsessive-compulsive freak flags fly, and it works. (laughs) Through this process, we found our personal strengths and weaknesses and how the other alternately complement. So is there a gal pal in your life that you've admired for the ability she has that you yourself want to learn? Maybe she has a green thumb and can show you once and for all when to start sowing seeds inside for starts in your garden come transplant time or can help you determine which neighboring plants benefit each other. Does she play guitar and you've always wanted to learn? Have a music night and maybe some wine and cheese. (laughs) A favorite of mine since moving to the farm unintentionally is to watch Michelle and her partner work their culinary magic. I tend to follow recipes to a T. I'm obsessed with the cookbook, but have always wanted to just throw that away and get to feeling more free in the kitchen. So by watching them whip up their meals and asking questions along the way, I've totally expanded my comfort zone in the kitchen and learned new tricks that I can take home with me when I finally move out in 2020. (laughs) Exactly. And you can practice your mad skills by hosting potlucks. If you don't have the space for a potluck, try, you know, taking the time to go get to know a local park and set up a game of cornhole. I swear, the name of that game. (laughs) Why? (laughs) Right. (laughs) Exactly. Um, Yeah, and I'm a visual tactile learner. So collaborating with someone in this way not only helps me learn, but lets me get some gal pal time in too. And the best part is that when you find something that you want to learn from someone else and they're passionate about that, they want to share and they want to see you succeed. So it's a win-win. Absolutely. And for long distance friends, you can have a book or audio book club, which I love. Also, Skype and FaceTime make it super easy to connect. So you can even have a face to face phone date while doing something like knitting or crocheting, you know, a good old stitch and bitch. <laughs> if you have a business savvy lady friend, you could have a brainstorming sesh or a focus group that meets weekly or monthly. And when I say focus, it's actually an acronym for focus on one course until success, which is a concept Ashley and I picked up recently from John Lee Dumas. And if you're new to the area and haven't yet found your lady circle, which I completely understand, I highly suggest exploring Instagrammers that engage in activities you want to join. After moving to a new city, I wanted to find some hiking buddies. And through some lady hikers I follow on Instagram that don't even live in my state or country, I found the hashtag women who hike. I joined the local chapter's private Facebook group and was able to find women in my area to hit the trails with, so it's awesome. Whatever you're into, there's a hashtag that may lead you to your new best friends. So I hope you agree that it is super important to schedule in some time with your friends, even if you need activities and projects to make it happen. Accountability can be powerful. Be sure to visit femalesandfinefettle.com and click on episode three to receive your freebie. This week, we want to invite you to join our private Facebook group, Get Answers, Be Empowered, Live Vibrantly, where we provide a space for anyone at any stage of their healing journey. It's a safe place to share and celebrate the small or large successes, obstacles, and fears. We hope to see you inside. Hey, it's Dr. Michelle, and I cannot wait to meet you back here next week. In episode four, we jump into the new theme of immunity and inflammation. And in this episode, we'll be talking about your office space and how it might be contributing to your health. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great rest of your week. Bye for now. Thank you for listening to Females and Fine Fettle from Wiped Out to Wealthy, a podcast to fit your lifestyle. If you like what you've heard, please subscribe, rate, and review at femalesandfinefettle.com. 
if you have questions or topic ideas for upcoming episodes, we'd love to hear from you. Please be sure to tune in next week.